plays games with Steve and Angel. We ate some Korean fried chicken and now we're back. It's it's pretty good. This is it. Judgment. This is it. The final battle. (laughs) Today, things are going to get settled at last. A lot of things. Wah! What's the big idea? Sorry, Nick. I only touched your shoulder. I guess the shock hasn't worn off from your run-in with the stun gun yesterday. Your run-in, you mean? <laughs> with our run-in. Uh, anyhow, today's the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. It'd be funny if like they were just all very frizzed at the hair and stuff walking into court today. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks, Maya. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking I'm back. Hmm. <laughs> Edgeworth is looking glum as always. I hope Von Karma doesn't push him too hard. Whoa! <laughs> what, what are you doing? Sorry, I'm sorry. I just thought I'd ch- ch- cheer you up with the pat on the back. Maya, maybe you should go outside and discharge. Right, good idea. I'll go jump into a body of water. Maya! <laughs> <laughs> Try not to electrocute anyone on your way out. Oh, yeah, pal! <laughs> oh, God. What's gotten into that girl? Detective Gumshoe! Hey, morning, Mr. Edgeworth! Um, good morning. Uh, How'd it go, Detective? You have no fear, as promised, I've captured our runaway caretaker. I just brought him in. Took all night, pal. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. You must be tired. Yeah, look how heavy I'm breathing. Yeah. Actually, after that shock I got on the way in, I feel pretty good. Yogi says he's... Yogi says he's... he's uh, Yogi, Yogi, I say... Yogi says he's forgotten his own name. Yabbidi, yabbidi, yabbidi. <laughs> but that has to be a lie. Why would he want revenge on Ed... Ed, Ed, Ed it's not so easy. I'm shocked, okay? <laughs> it's why not that he, hard. Why would he want Ed... <laughs> <laughs> why would he want revenge on Edgeworth if he couldn't remember his past? Or just make it talking your career, duh. <laughs> okay. mm-hmm. Have you ever tried not being poor? <laughs> <laughs> he does remember. And I'm going to prove it. Do I still have to be here? <laughs> <laughs> No, but we worked a long time making your breathing sprite, so we're going to use it, damn it. Court is now in session for the trial of Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready. Uh, um, right. Very well. We have reached the final day of our proceedings in this trial. I ask that the prosecution submit decisive evidence. Understood. Uh, Oh. Come on, don't be awed into silence by every little thing he says. Very well, Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Right. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe's efforts, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. In yesterday's trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. I would like to ask the defense to cross-examine him as much as necessary. Very well. Please bring the witness into the courtroom. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I believe you all remember our witness. He lives in the boat rental shop on the lake from where he witnessed the incident. In addition, he has currently lost memory of his name and identity. Witness, why did you run away yesterday? Objection! The witness was not running away as he will now testify. I see. Very well, please begin your testimony. Ah! <laughs> Who lives in the boat rental shop over by the lake? <laughs> Why I left court? Uh, I'm really sorry about us leaving yesterday like I did. Uh, but I wasn't running away or nothing. I uh, went to buy some food for Polly, see? I figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Uh, I mean, I need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got one. So my testimony yesterday stands as is. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, shall we? 
He has to know his name. Yanni Yogi. You're Yanni Yogi, and I'm going to prove it. I'm really sorry about leaving yesterday like I did. That wasn't a run on away. I went to buy some food for Polly, see? Hold it! Food? Well, Polly's a bit of a, a gourmand, you see. She only eats these high-quality bird pellets from France. They only have them in the big pet shop downtown. You weren't arrested until this morning. Why didn't you go back to the caretaker's shack? Eh, uh, well, I kind of got lost, you see. Objection! The witness has trouble remembering things sometimes. When the police apprehended him, he was on his way back to the shack. Yeah, right. Nice try, Von Karma. No one's going to believe that. Hmm, I see. So he was lost. Please, Your Honor, come to your senses. It got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Hold it! You've lost much of your memory, is that correct? Uh, yep, seems like it. And how, and how could you know that you didn't have anything to do with this incident? Uh... Or, or maybe you're lying about not having your memory, hmm? You know exactly who you are. Objection! Remember who you are. The witness has testified quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. If you claim he's lying, then show the court proof. Uh, how am I supposed to prove what's going on in that old codger's head? It's a codger. Yeah, like an like old, old, like man. a kook. Yeah. Oh, crazy old Maurice. Mm -hmm. Crazy old Maurice. <laughs> That's impossible. That's impossible, Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you've come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Very well, witness. Please continue. Yeah, I mean, I need one of those motive things, right? And I don't have one. Hold it! How can you say you had no motive? I say you do. You had a grudge against Edgeworth and the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge on them, right? Objection! Please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright. This witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. He can't hold a grudge. It's impossible. I have to prove he's lying about his memory. Otherwise, it's going to be the same thing over and over until the trial ends. Might I say something, Mr. Wright? Yes. Yes, Your Honor? You've been saying the same thing now over and over. You've been calling the witness's memory of the past, or lack thereof, into question. But does this really have anything to do with the current case? Of course, Your Honor. The witness has said he has nothing to do with this case, and no motive. Both of these statements are lies! No bitches. <laughs> no bitches? No bitches? <laughs> no bitches? Order, order! <laughs> Mr. Wright, there is a serious problem with your claim. Or are you saying... Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, Your Honor. Ho ho! Now this is interesting. I would like to know myself. So, who is he? Don't play dumb, Von Karma. Mr. Wright, please tell us this witness's name. It's a Robert Hammond. His name is Yanni Yogi, a former court bailiff. Hmm? Yogi? That name seems familiar. Oh! Yanni Yogi from the DL6 incident. I thought the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. But what does this mean? Your Honor, if this man is Mr. Yogi, then he has a, a clear motive. Objection. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> Jumping to conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, this witness, is Yanni Yogi? Fascinating. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? Hmm. This is a court of law, as you may recall. You need proof. And allow me to repeat once more that the witness has lost his memory. This is it. I have to do this now. If I can't prove he's Yogi right here, right now... Burn. Uh, then I've got nowhere else to go. <laughs> so he was like, they didn't say it. <laughs> I'm like, what, what, what do I do? <laughs> 
<laughs> Nick, it's like you gotta, oh, we want we, we we lost go by flow in our court record. Ah, oh. <laughs> how are you going to prove it? How can you prove that he's Yanni Yogi? It's okay. It's actually quite simple. Your Honor, please take this man's fingerprints. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on file for Yanni Yogi 15 years ago. I see. <laughs> Sorry. When you said right here, right now, and nobody said anything, you were like a lost puppy. You were like, <laughs> uh, I, I guess we'll just not make a reference. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that makes sense. To be fair, honestly, I kind of like, I just like flubbed on the reading, but then I thought like, I was like waiting for the Naruto reference too. I'm like, cool, I could save myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then left totally in the cold. So. Yeah. yeah. You were doing like a trust fall. Damn it! I was like, I'm like, wow, we could have had a great, we could have had like a great gimmick of, oh wow, Steve tripped up when no one made a reference, but uh, I, I don't want to live a lie. No, that makes sense. <laughs> Very inside baseball on that bit. Tsk tsk tsk. Huh? I'm so very very sorry, Mr. Wright. But why? The witness has no fingerprints. What? What? No fingerprints? Uh, you see, before I worked as a caretaker, I worked at a chemical plant. I burned my fingers working with the stuff, uh, yep. What? Yogi, you sneak. You burned your fingerprints off to hide your past. Hmm. Well, if the witness has no fingerprints, I guess we will not be able to prove his identity. No. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Well, what will you do, Mr. Wright? Uh... Hmm? It seems that the case has been decided, no? No! I know what happened! I know everything! I... I just can't prove it! But no. I can't let it end like but this. But no! <laughs> it can't be true! <laughs> no. I could win if I wanted to! <laughs> Like a bird in the sky. Uh, I can't lose. <laughs> Has to be another way. There is no one who can testify as to who this witness is. No one. Nick, what are we going to do? I didn't even consider that he might have erased his fingerprints. What do I do? Tsk, tsk, tsk. Well, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you'd like to cross-examine the parrot for a little comic relief, hmm? Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're a sore winner, Von Karma. <laughs> Wait a second. Cross-examine the parrot? Like a bird in the sky. <laughs> like a bird in the boy, sky! Boy, boy. <laughs> what is it, Nick? No. You're not going to... Your Honor! The defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on his proposal. Take Mr. Von Karma up? On my proposal? Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's parrot. Pet parrot. Or order, order! That, what do you think, Mr. Von Karma? Need you even ask this is a farce? I object. Objection! Wait a second! You were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot, Von Karma! I have a right to do as you suggested! Mm. Well, if you're so desperate, then please be my guest. Hmm? Of course, should you go through with this, and nothing comes of it, then I hope you're ready for the consequences. Nick, this is crazy! Well, still want to go through with your little game? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. No. Let the parrot take the stand. I will cross-examine her, Your Honor. Done. This is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Von Karma's rigged every person's testimony, every piece of evidence. Except the parrot. She's my last chance. <laughs> At least, I think so. <laughs> Bailey, <laughs> Bailiff, bring in the parrot. Bailiff. Bailiff. Aw. Aw. That's quite a bird. Uh, please tell us your name. 
Name. <laughs> <laughs> they say Safi. The witness is ignoring me. <laughs> it must hurt to be ignored by a bird. I'm just crying a little bit. Uh, very well, witness. <laughs> Who is your owner? Please uh, testify for us. Who is your owner? <laughs> Love this. Go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> Certainly the most concise testimony we've had so far Very well, begin your cross-examination Right <laughs> What are you going to do, Nick? I I don't know <laughs> I don't know I don't know What do we do, Maya? Hmm <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> hold it. Witness, you can't just say hello and expect us to get anywhere. I want you to testify. Maya, you talk to her. Right. Uh, what do I say? Uh, have we forgotten something? Remember, remember, two days ago. That's what I have tattooed on my back. Mm. Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? <laughs> Don't forget the sex. <laughs> I can get Polly to say that here. I will prove that the caretaker had something to do with DL6. Um, Polly, have we forgotten something? Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? That's not what you're supposed to say. Forgot. Something we forgot. Hello. Hello. Uh oh, it's not working, Nick. She won't say it. This is ridiculous. Why won't she say it? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Something the matter, Mr. Wright. Wait. Don't tell me Von Karma expected this. Couldn't have retained he couldn't he couldn't have retrained the parrot, could he? Did he train her not to respond when we asked her if we'd forgotten anything? That would be crazy. Crazy. Hold it. Witness, you're here to speak. You must speak to me. Frankly, I can't believe that you're speaking to the parrot. Well, I guess we should try to get some information out of her. We need to show the judge that her owner is Mr. Yogi. Okay, so let's, uh... Hold it. Witness! You can't just say hello and expect something to get anywhere. I want you to touch her. Maya, right. you, Maya, you talk to her. Right. Uh, what do I say? Um, what's the safe number? What's your name? Baby bird, what's your name? Maybe I should get her to say her name? Polly. Polly, what's your name? Polly, Polly. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I think we've established that this parrot is named Polly. Does this have anything to do with her owner's identity? Mm, I actually don't know, but I what's feel What's in your court tempted. record these days? These days. These days. Well, because like, some gone. stuff was taken out. Yeah, it's true. The Ursula companion of the boat shop caretaker answers to the name Polly. File on. The fact that that's even there. Answers to the name Polly. I was going to suppress A to read. I mean, I don't know that this is relevant right now. From Lost Child. Da, da, da. Ian Yogi, court bailiff, trapped at the edge of his memory loss due to oxygen interpretation. I have a fiance, Polly Jenkins, commits suicide. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're right, though. It's probably not relevant. Mmm, of course. Yes, yes it, it does. does. Oh. Yeah, no, that's it. Ah! <laughs> Two of you! How did you do that? Ha! Huh. Fascinating. You claim that the parrot's name will prove her owner's identity? 
Then show us this proof. Nick, don't you think you're taking the bluffing a little too far? Listen, we're not here to answer the question of who is the caretaker. We're here to prove that he is Yanni Yogi. All we have to do is tie the name Polly to Yogi. Your Honor, the proof that the parrot's name reveals the caretaker's identity is... Um, that was part of this? No. <laughs> oh, no, okay. No. Where did, where did I read that at? Oh, the file. Oh, oh Dory. Yeah. Take that. The DL6 case file. Were you going to show me that photo? Objection. That's quite a large file you have there. Which page is this proof on, then? Show us or stop wasting our time. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. Please show us the page. Where in this file is the information you know? Uh, hold on. And yeah, you gotta yeah, check if you're not sure. Um, doop, doop, doop. Were they labeled case summary victim? Okay, suspect data. Apologies. Suspect data. I wasn't sure if they were gonna be in order. It's on the suspect data page. Mm hmm? This page has all the information about Yanni Yogi. Right after he was arrested, his fiance committed suicide. See? Hmm. So indeed, it does say that, yes. What was his fiance's name? Polly Jenkins. Polly! Exactly, Your Honor. He remembered the name of his fiance who committed suicide. That's why he named his parrot after her. This is probably a reason for it localizing, but I feel like having the parrot be called Polly does it's it yeah it should be something that's not a typical parrot's name yeah, yeah. For, for it to really but anyway maybe in Japanese it's like a common parrot name or something I see I guess that is possible objection are parrots bah. common in Japan I don't know a mere coincidence that's all my granddaughter has a dog she calls Phoenix <laughs> well Mr. Phoenix Wright does this make you my granddaughter's fiance She's only seven years old. Hmm. Indeed. Alone, it is a little weak for evidence in a murder trial. We would need some other corroborating evidence. Where am I going to find that? Nick, we're getting closer. One more. If we could just get one more piece of evidence. Right. But what? But what? Um. Oh. Very well, witness. You may continue. He just said, hmm. 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 No, <laughs> bon karma. <laughs> Here I am once again. <laughs> Torn into pieces. He can't deny. He can't pretend. I, can't. I don't know the actual lyrics. And neither do I. I just know that part. All right, you could you can skip through this. Right, right, right. Um, what's the safe number? Maybe I'll get her to say the number of that safe. Huh? The safe? Why? Let's just try. Let's just try to get her to say anything, okay? Polly, what was the number of the safe in the shack? One, two, two, eight, one, two, two, eight. My, what a reckless parrot. Well, Mr. Wright, you aren't claiming that this number has something to do with the caretaker? Uh, that's the date, isn't it? Yeah, oh, oh, oh. and it's on this page for the oh. case summary. Oh, big. Uh, actually, <laughs> you, you gotta stop if, if going to the that, wrong one. I would have thrown my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been like, give me that. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden we finish this whole freaking game in five minutes. <laughs> actually, it does. That's why I had her say it. Ha! Ridiculous. How can the number to a safe tell us where the caretaker is? Show us your proof. What could possibly link this number to the caretaker's true- Don't interrupt me. True identity. identity. Show me your proof. <laughs> Show me your proof. I did think that same thing. <laughs> Show me your moves. Come on! Come on! I can punch! <laughs> a DL6 case file. What is this obsession you have with that case? Mr. Wright, where in this file is something we blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. It's on the case summary page. The case summary? Specifically, the date on which the DL6 incident occurred. The date of the incident? December 28th. 
Why, that's today's date, 15 years ago. And the number on that safe is 1228. Ah! He used the date of the DL6 incident as the number for his safe, Your Honor. That's how important that date was to him. I see. It certainly is an interesting coincidence. People often do set their secret numbers to dates. Objection! Bah! This is not tangible proof. I set my ATM card as number to 0001 because down. I'm number one. <laughs> That's a terrible code. <laughs> he it, was number one. <laughs> this has nothing to do with a date. Nothing! That's enough. I think we've reached a conclusion here. This is a mere coincidence, that's all. True, that is a possibility. However, two coincidences at the same time seems more like a pattern to me. What, what, what are you saying? Summon the caretaker of the boat shop. Immediately! Witness, tell us your name. Objection! Wait! This witness, he doesn't remember. No, it's okay. Mm hmm? Oh my god. <laughs> I've accomplished what I wanted to do. I'm done. Nick, he, he looks totally different. He's hotter. This is the real Yogi, I think. Finally. He's been acting feeble to hide his true identity. Acting for 15 years. 15. Oh, well, let me ask you again. Uh, please state your name for the court. My name is Yanni Yogi. Fifteen years ago, I served as a bailiff in this very court. Did his posture change? Yeah. yeah. Like, order! Order! For the back sprite, too? Um, uh, not for the back sprite, I think. I don't it's know. Probably not. Yanni Yogi, so was it you who killed Robert Hammond and tried to frame Miles Edgeworth for his death? Yes. It was me. I did it. They put me on the witness stand 15 years ago. Robert Hammond, he said I was mentally unsound. He told me it would make me innocent, get me off the hook. So, I pretended to have brain damage. I was innocent, really, but he didn't believe me. We won the trial, but I lost everything. I lost my job, my fiance, my social standing. Then this year, 15 years later, the package arrived. It was a letter and a pistol. The plan was written out in careful detail. It was a plan for me to take my revenge on the people who ruined my life. I didn't care who had sent it. I thought this was my chance after 15 years. This was it. Finally a chance to have my revenge on Robert Hammond and Miles Edgeworth. I have no regrets. Wait a moment. Revenge against Miles Edgeworth? What do you mean? I'm not at liberty to speak on that matter. Why don't you ask Mr. Edgeworth yourself? Anyway, I admit it. I was the one who killed Robert Hammond. Ooh. Mm. Von Karma, where is Mr. Yogi? Under arrest, Your Honor. I saw no room for error in his confession. Then the defendant Miles Edgeworth is... Innocent, in this case at least. Hmm. Very well. Will the defendant please take the stand? There are a few mysteries left unsolved. Still, you are cleared of suspicion for this particular case. So I would like to pass judgment on the murder of Mr. Robert Hammond. Any objections? Hmm. I don't believe it. Why isn't Von Karma saying anything? Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Yay! Yay! Bravo. Yippee! Yahoo! Y yippee. That is all. The court is adjourned. Well. Oh. Objection! Did, did, did someone just say objection? It wasn't Von Karma. Wait, but that means... No. 
Edgeworth! Your Honor, I object to your judgment. Where are you pointing? W what do you mean? I'm not innocent at all. As we have heard, Yanni Yoki killed Robert Hammond in revenge. But revenge for what? Nick, Edgeworth is trying to confess. He's going to say he's guilty. He's going to tell them he was the murderer in the DL6 incident. He's going to tell them he killed his own dad. Uh-oh, what do I do? Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's let him get it off his chest. Objection! The judgment has already been passed. I object to Edgeworth's outburst. Objection! Didn't something like this happen yesterday too? I believe a certain witness raised an objection after a guilty verdict was passed. That would be Larry. We must hear this new statement. We must hear Miles Edgeworth. He's right. We have a duty to hear Mr. Edgeworth out. For 15 years, I have had a recurring dream. A nightmare. It's only a nightmare. That's what I told myself. But now I know it wasn't a dream. Yanni Yogi wasn't the killer. You mean in the incident where your father died? From the distance of the shot, it wasn't suicide either. Everything was as clear as day. The murderer, the criminal in the DL6 incident, it was me. Your Honor, I confess my guilt. I am guilty for DL6, the statute of limitations of which ends today. The culprit is me. Should be pointing at him. Yeah, that's like, no, well, off camera, it's just his hand, just his thumb pointing back at me. <laughs> <laughs> Weird way of pointing, but okay. <laughs> Order, order! This is certainly unexpected. The defendant, declared innocent, is confessing to a different crime. A crime for which the statute of limitations runs out today. I'm not really sure how I should deal with this. Bah! It's obvious. We hold a trial right here, right now. Bah! You budge like a drunken rider. There you go, Steve. Now I can rest easy. <laughs> we try this man for his crime of 15 years ago. 15... <laughs> My spirit is finally at, at ease as it, it descends <laughs> to heaven. I think, I think I would like to take a five-minute recess. During this time, I will consider the appropriate course of action to take. Court is adjourned. Mm. I'm sorry, Wright. I've just wasted all of your effort. Mr. Edgeworth, I just don't believe it, pal. I mean, you, you kill your dad. I didn't want to believe it myself, detective. But it's the truth. I deserve to be punished. Murder is murder, no matter what the circumstances. This is crazy! Just crazy! Mm. Uh, Nick, what are you doing? Huh? Oh. I was just reading through the court record once more. Getting my case ready. Your case? For what? Huh? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to prove that Miles Edgeworth is innocent. Uh, what are you talking about, pal? He just admitted to it. Uh, he confessed that he did it. In court. I'm sorry, Edgeworth. But I don't believe your nightmare. R what? It's just a dream. It's not real. The truth is right here, in this court record. In any case, tighten your belts. The real fight is just beginning. I'll prove you're innocent. Trust me. R right. Well, looks like you'll have to trust right starting in the next episode. Oh! oh. As, as, as Phoenix Wright uh, leans down to Edgeworth and says, Do you trust me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can show that you're right. Or I mean, <laughs> I could show you you're innocent. 